Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel. And uh, late, late yesterday, Microsoft has issued its uh, updates that are updates for the, uh, so this is week C as Microsoft divides different weeks in um, A, B, C, and D. Of course, B being the uh, week where we have usually the um, Patch Tuesday. Um, well, if you've had a, um, if you're still on in 1909, the uh, November 2019 update, Microsoft has officially re released uh, some updates yesterday for week C, which is the week where we usually have them. So go into, uh, if you have problems, because these are optional updates, they are bug fixing updates. So you can go and check out in update and security. It will appear in optional updates. You can click the download and install if you want to install them. If you do not wish to install them, then you just ignore them. So uh, basically what that is, is the uh, bug fixing updates for uh, 1909. Of course, if you are on long-term support, 1809, uh, 1903 also have updates, but uh, these are mostly for um, the uh, version 1909 for what we look at here. So basically what happens is if you have some problems, um, I would probably say, well, apply these updates. That might actually fix some of the issues. I know that one of them has to do with also the upgrade path to uh, version 2004 or 20H2, which means that if you are on a version of Windows uh, 1909 that doesn't see the updates for the, uh, you know, version 2004 or 20H2 for the May or October 2020 update, it could be an interesting idea to install this. If you have no problems and uh, you see the update and you don't really care for now, you can actually ignore it. It's not going to install automatically. Uh, basically, this is really um, updates for bug fixes only. No security updates in here. So if you're on 1909 and you type that uh, Winver command, you will actually, if you have installed it, see that the bill number is going to be 18363.1411. 18363.1411. And that is, once again, only for 1909 or earlier. If you're on the May or October 2020 update, you don't have any updates this week. That's going to come later in the month. And, um, of course, uh, this is really just fixing. And there's a, a big list of bug fixes, actually, in there. So if you have some issues, maybe it's a good idea to install it. If you have no problems at all, then um, my idea is always to ignore it. When it's not broke, you know, when it ain't broke, don't fix it, is really, really a good idea also in Windows updates, especially for the optional updates. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.